Hi everybody, welcome back to my Age of Wonders 3 Draconian Necromancer series where I take on 5 Allied Emperor AI opponents and give them a 40 turn head start. Uh, so with this, we're at the end of this turn and we've got to flip to the next turn here we're going into turn 59. So I'm going to click start to get this rolling and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll pause the video here and restart once the action commences. We'll see if uh, I get attacked from anywhere. Okay, the turn has turned over to turn 59. And I have a lot of people up in my business here, which I'll need to figure out. Army here, but I'll start simple and move some troops up here. I don't care. I have to think about that. Items. That's good. This. Do I want to give this to the other hero? Maybe. Maybe. No, not accepting offers to join. Uh, let's come down to here. I don't think I'm ready for this. Definitely these guys. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three, and then a fifth probably will be this guy. This guy is dead. So I can do that. These two guys, probably all three of those guys can make it back. I'm not comfortable with that, or do I want to? I might keep some of these guys back. This guy I'll have a uh, tag along. All right, simple enough. What else is happening? That looks complicated uh, over here. Okay. Simple enough. How do I want to split people? Do I want to send this guy here to deal with them? I don't think so. I think I want to proceed with them up. So how do I want to take out this group of people? I think it's going to mean I have to figure out, yeah, who's, who's in one army. So let's see. Be with my strongest foot forward here. Probably like that. Then I think here for the fire damage. And then what? One more melee. Probably. Oh, do I want a cadaver? That might be a good idea. So, heavy hitter. Oh wait, do I have no, it's it's gotta be this guy. That's what it's gotta be. Yeah. Okay. And as far as this guy, he can make it down here. I think I will wanna have him go there. And he has a nourishing meal. Yeah, that's good. So definitely a healer. Definitely this guy as well. So there's my two ranged units, and he's got fire bolts. So that's pretty nice and balanced. Definitely one of these guys, I think. Probably definitely this guy. So two, two melees. I will want one of these with them, probably. So do I have a third heal? I don't think so. I think I have one of these guys. They're limited. Hmm. <laughs> and do 
I send these guys in or do I let them come to me? I may want to let them come to me. What are these guys going to be doing? Playing support so that these can be together. So maybe here. Do I want to take them out before they join with somebody else? I may. So who else? Who else can reach? So it's just him plus. Yeah, I feel like I really should. But I don't know. Maybe I'll let them come to me. All right. Probably will want to have him pop into here eventually. So do I send them up or keep them down here? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Where can they go? They can go here. I don't don't think. What is this nourishing meal? It's not gonna be able to keep everybody alive, but as long as you can keep two of them alive, maybe. Do this. I'm not, I'm not sure. They might want to form their own stack and go off at some point. But I'm not completely sure. Two ranged. Yeah. Maybe. Or do I have them go up and join them? I'm not sure. I might. I'm more confident doing this. Yeah. Although I don't like them being subjected to all this stuff. What does that do? I mean, that means dread omen. It's problematic, so I don't want them beefing their shots. It would be better to get them out of the city, but I'll have to do that on the next turn. These folks can go up and try and retake the city. That doesn't look too interesting. All right, so this is where there needs to be lots of attention. And... easy to take out, but this is the more scary stuff over here, and I feel like I want to be able to take these out. I think I need to figure out a way to do that. Attack them here, take out these guys first, and then attend to these guys. So I don't want these joining up. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So I need to. Got to do. Necromancer. And is still human, not undead. So I could ghoul her and bring another necromancer to my side. I think I should be doing that. I think I do want plenty of heals. Right? So we do have some flying units, but do I need them for this battle? I don't think I do. So I think I can go with this. Where can this guy go? He can never go more than here. So I could make room for someone more interesting. I probably should. Hmm. So one of these, or at least to get the heal up, or this guy. I probably want to prioritize healing him up so I can be using him in the upcoming battle. So I think this is what we're going to do. So we'll start here. Woof. Right. 
What is this? This is junk. Boots. That makes no sense. Can get in your face. But I still have another turn. And he's the prayer. I'm going to leave him for last, I think. I want to be able to get up in their faces. And I want to be able to heal. Two damage. So I would like to flank, though I may want to save the flank. And later. So do I do some damage now, but then allow him to do whatever he's going to do? Probably. I do want to level him up. He's not super close, though. <laughs> Maybe just put them on defense. How far can he go? So he can get up in their face. That might be worth doing so that he... Uh, does have to go. Now can I kill these two guys? Hmm. No, I'm not going to be able to kill them. Is he gonna he can do some massive backstab shit to me, which I do not want. I probably already put myself at extreme risk for it, so I don't think I can unless I do this. That's the ticket. Okay, so he's gonna he has to choose to engage. Who do I want to heal? I probably want to be healing him though. It's going to be super important as well. I'm not sure. He's going to do whatever. That's fine. What happened? What happened here? Okay, that was expected. That was not expected. Oh my god. One. He's going to have to. Heal some people. It would be really nice to greater one and touch him. He's just always got his points removed. And he didn't move, unfortunately. So that's interesting. Okay, so I do want to get up in his face and especially do a flank. I think that's probably the thing to do. I don't want to kill her quite yet. It's going to take minimal damage, and she'll take some interesting damage. This might be worth doing to exhaust two hit points. I think I'm going to do this. So I want to come here, I think, face this way. Yeah, okay, it's just one. And she can still come in, so I do want to put in two hits, I think. Unlikely. Okay, so he might need to be raised, which would be okay with me. She only has one more. Who do I need to be healing? Hopefully a raise from the dead on that. Hopefully a heal yourself. I think mm, probably best. Mm. Alright, let's see what you do with that one point of movement. Hopefully attack him. That's so funny. I think I'm gonna just move to the side. Right, or do I want to? Broken. I think I think I am gonna strafe move so that I can raise. 
But let me, let me think about that some more. Okay, so I do want to raise, and I can start with this, although 70%, I do like that. Though she's low health, so it's not buying me tremendous time, but I do like the thought of being able to heal. So I am going to try this. That's great. Okay. Okay. So. Who else can it be? So it's just you know, going to self heal. Or I'm going to heal that. I think I probably do need to self heal. That is tempting too. How many more turns of uh, webbed? Too. So I've got one more turn of free movement. Now, can I some mental damage? I can. So that's five. Five times six is fifteen. That's fine. Put curse up. But it is flanking, which I don't want to do. So I am going to, in fact, wait. Range. Yeah. So I don't. I don't want flanking to be a thing. I will get to do this maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Just despair. Six to the six. Definitely not. So I think we're going to try this. Can you resist that every single time? That is unfortunate. I don't like these odds at all, but I don't know what I can do about it. It's just unfortunate. Is there anything I can do? Okay. Go curse. Wonderful. That was lucky. That was lucky. I did not manage that well. She shouldn't have taken those uh, those hits from the banshee. All right. So I gotta move. Oh, that's interesting. So I've got to take them out. So that's what I need to be figuring out. So, hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So for this, you've got some spirit and blight protection, blight protection, blight, blight. So a lot of blight protection that I need to keep in mind. And those are, of course, machine and blight protected. So these guys are not super helpful other than to heal. They can get down here. Hmm. So do I have them all down here? Do I want to get the fire protection and the protection from light? But they don't have any fire damage, so the protection is not really necessary. So I might be moving down here. But then I don't. Yeah, it would be better to have some people up on there and make them come the long way. Hmm, 
Mm -hmm. So we'll go here. Who else can we convince to, to join us who has a map? Movement. Hmm. Okay, they have enough to go here. That would be worthwhile. They don't. They do. They do as well. Is there anybody I move up here? Maybe here. Maybe here, maybe it's like whoever has enough movement. Do we go like this even? Are these guys, they don't, but this is the full up here anyway, so. All right, who else do we want involved in this? I think healing is always good. I think cadavers that come back, always good. Easy fodder. I can't reach. Oh, another full up already. So do we do we like that? Would we prefer? I don't know. More he's going to get trounced. I'm a little hesitant to bring him into battle. I think I I think I like this. All right. So we do this. What does that leave? Somebody, so I could summon a Banshee back there. Is that something I want to do? Or do I need to save stiffened limbs and, and such for battlefield casting? I don't know. I might. I might want to try it out. What, what does this do? That's interesting. So would I rather distract Pull them back. I just don't know. Just don't know. I might want to try and split. So we will do that. Let's see how this goes. I'm hoping they're attracted here and these guys are still moving forward. We'll see. Okay. That's unfortunate. I would like to see a critical hit. I like that these guys are moving forward. Oh, that's all fine. Yeah, they're two separate, so... Okay. Hmm, that's unfortunate. So a little bit of splitting. A little bit of splitting. So how do we want to handle this? It kind of... He can do some massive damage, and I have to... have to worry about that. This guy doesn't have electrical storm. For another turn, what kind of damage could I do? So I could do 40, leaving him with 70-ish, leaving him with 50-ish. Can I? I could do this. It might be worth it to try and take him out. I'm a little worried about what everybody else might do, but it might be worth doing. It might be worth doing, though. And do I want to? I can get a flank off too, which would be interesting. Is this despair? No, I don't think so. I think I'd prefer to. Let's see. How far? How far? So we could. Some serious stuff. I think he can't come this way. What? So barely in range here. We can still. It's going to be a little harder to flank. See so down to forty-five. So this, I think, is where I want to do this, and then this. And then this. Let's see. If I park him here, 
So I need to turn him, not here, but here, but then he can't do two, two hits. But I think that's okay. I'd hate to see him, yeah, but it'll be a little cleaner. I do this. That is not as much as I was hoping. That is definitely not as much as I was hoping. So that was a poor decision, unfortunately, on my part. Was a poor decision. This is not going to do hardly any damage, don't think. Well, let's see. Can I? I uh, call him death ray four to six. So let's see. Oh, that's. Uh, Oh, I could get one more tippy tap in here. But I think I probably would just assume nuke with the death ray. Probably. What else are these guys doing? He can flank somebody. I do want to get somebody in there or at least engage them. That might be good. It'd be good to get these guys up. These guys can stun, probably, can't they? Quite stun. <laughs> okay, so... You know, of course, if I kill... Yeah, yeah it's done. It's still worth doing. So I don't know what he's going to do. But that's okay. At least they can attack the hero, which is important. Going to get them up in here. Only one, not very impressive. And they're going to be able to do some flanking, but I think I do need to get them up here. It's a matter of can I deal with them at all. And do I attack or just leave them? I'm not quite sure. These cannons. So I don't know. I'll probably put them up in here. It's just a matter of do I want to try and take them out? One, two. How much health do they have? 43. Hmm. And I can slow them down. I mean, this is hardly any damage. It does not feel worthwhile at all. It's stupid. It's only one damage from there. Hmm. So I think definitely here. That's a, that's a, that's a fair bit. That's good. Uh, six, seven times three is 21. Oh, great. Okay. That's great. Okay. So this guy is going to be able to do something. I can move him up here. I mean, these guys can come around, but I think I want to at least get him here. And with this, I mean, where does this guy want to go? He could do some of that. Who do I care about? Do I want to maybe slow him down? Do I want to slow them down? I think I want to slow him down. Yeah, so he'll probably try and backstab there, probably. Keep him on defense. These guys. One, two, three, I right know. See, I think it's up. It's okay. And with this, um, 
I don't really want him to be flamed. I mean, I just summoned him, so he's not very important. And this guy will have to reload. So, I don't know. Maybe I see, see if I can tempt him. Tempt him to come back. I think that's the responsible thing. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I don't know. That about the port. That was interesting. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I'd almost rather have you die. Because I will attack. He will attack. I will attack a second time. I think this is okay. What is this? Five, six. So that's a similar thing. I, I don't mind him dying. And this does some decent damage. What uh, am I trying to? Goblin Rogue. It would be nice to have one of those. It's a matter of can I make the space and deal? with them. I would also love to cool a known serpent. That would be really nice. It'd be nice to petrify somebody, and that's a decent chance too. Especially if I can broken spirit. This is possible. <laughs> I do think I, I want him to die though. So we're going to have that figured out over here. With this, it's just this stuff. That's decent damage. This is how. One, two, three, four, five out in a cone. You'll be here. So one, two, three, four, five. So he could hit these guys here. I think I need to get him going up here because he, I think he's 80%. Fire protection. You go here. One, two, three, four, five. So what? I don't mind him taking a hit. I just want to make sure he can't get both. He's here. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think he can get both. Six to eight. And this is not flanking. Oh well, yeah, I can't uh, forget about this. Man. Who is dead, by the way? Just that. There. I really don't want to have to mess with him. What kind of damage is he going to do? A fair bit. A fair bit. And I could... 1 to 13. That's interesting. Thirty four. I don't want him to be able to do that. So that's four times twelve. That's not nearly enough. I mean, nothing's really. So someone is going to die to him, I think. Either way, unless something interesting has happened, that's a pretty good nuke. So let's see, fifteen damage. So that's like thirty-five. How far can he go? Unlikely to kill, but that's pretty good. So I don't mind this. Do I move away? What kind of damage? Would I rather take? Yeah. Alright. That's fine. 
So he, so this guy could go down, but then he can raise him. So we turn our attention here. So who do I want to prioritize here? So either kill him and not be killed. Especially if I juice that out plus three. So plus three to 24, I'm very likely to kill him before he kills me. So I think I want to do this instead. I think. Um, and then ideally, because this is at maximum 17 times three, which could kill him, especially as the stacks increase. I may want to try some some stuff with that. So maybe I'm doing this, but maybe I try in Broken Spirit Petrified. So I do, I turn him to get an extra attack, and I might try that. Hopefully I don't regret this. That is actually excellent, okay. And that gives me some time to do some stuff. So let's see what kind of stuff do I want to do. I like the despair and the broken spirit. Maybe this guy will be able to do some serious damage. So I just want to make sure it's not more than one person. That he can hit. I don't know. Maybe I tempt them out like that. But I would, I would love the opportunity to go both. So let's see. I think I'm going to do one hit here. Broken spirit is good. Do I do a second attempt at broken spirit? What kind of? Yeah. kind of damage is this doing? Not very much at all. It has a chance to root him in plate, in place, which I think I would like. Five, six, seven, seven times three. So it's a good chance of slowing him in his, in his tracks, which I do like. But am I going to have enough time for shenanigans? Despair. I may want to do. I may want to do that. Now, which way is he facing? He's facing this way, so I do need to get him off. He still has, still has all of that, but he's not facing this way. So I could turn him. I could do this. Despair. It's good. Now he's facing this way. I can uh, shoot. Let's see. This is this is a safe enough. Okay. And he's actually likely to attack him. I just have to think about that some more. I might be able to move him off and have him have him die. What is this chance? Sixty percent. I don't think I like. Those odds. This is a little bit more. I need to get somebody in the way. It doesn't help too much. But I'd rather do two hits because let's see, this is eight, ten, ten times three, and there's going to be some stacking, but only on the spirit damage. So this should still be okay. So what did this do? So spirit weakness, 40%, it's so not, not tremendous, but uh, if he attacks, so I think I need to, hmm, could kill him, which I don't, so I think I move and allow him to die. But then 
he still has enough movement. So, do I take the kill now? I have to think also about line stun. He will be able to obliterate both of those people. So, I need to. It's unfortunate. So, do I tempt him into. So he's going to die. He didn't die. This is actually decent. Okay. So now he doesn't have, he can't do anything else. Um, they're probably going to try and attack here. I might want to move here. Or do I even want to charge here? No, because that it's going to give him three targets to target. So it is tempting to move some. So do I go here so I can do some serious damage? Or do I go here? I think I can go here. Although that puts him at risk for this, so that may not have been smart. But uh, so I'm going to try and ghoul him. How long is the petrified? No. Oh, I didn't even think of the bleeding. That could have been bad. It's expected. That is okay. That is okay, too. Cadaver, that's fine. Ah, it's so damn slow. But I think I'm going to be attacking there. Should be able to clean him up down there. So here, 95% I love those odds. And I do have to remember I'll be raising him up, but I need to get the melee attack in. And am I going to do it here? Because he, so he's here, and it's another five. So he's here, one, two, three, four, five. So it is one, two, three, four, five. So here, so he might actually be barely out of range. He's here. It's hard to tell. So if I'm here and attacking, he may not be able to reach me, which would be good. So I think I'm going to do this. Cool curse, good. All right, now, how do I want to, do I want to try and get another round of Petrify in? I very well might, but I also want to get up in the faces, got to deal with this. It is good. Oh, cadaver action would be good. Hmm, okay. And it would be nice to get, now he needs to reload, so I wouldn't mind having him. He's going to probably shoot flames if I go out here, and that would be two people flaming him, so I'm a little, a little hesitant about that. Now to the ghouling, I want to be able to ghoul him next turn, though he is up soon. I think I'm going to try this again, I think. And I do want to be out of the way of his flames if possible. But I don't think it matters. Do I want to do all the damage? 9%, 25% I think is the right thing. Petrified. Did that did that reduce? That's interesting. So the petrified does care about line of sight. All right, and the, the petrification did not. So it's still just one. 
Uh, so I, uh, he's going to be up and doing stuff next turn, actually. So I either have to let him make mischief or and I'll block him. I'll try and panic him. That may be something. I may want to try and panic. But either way, I do need to get people in this way. I wish I knew what kind of damage would be done. This guy's, this guy's going to be at risk for flames because if he's here, that's it. So if he's here, one, two, three, four, five. So the flame is going to get hit here. So we'll hit here. I wonder if we would be able to reach him here. So if he's going like this, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think you can reach him if it's here. So I might actually want to do this. And let's see, that would be times two, 19 maximum. I still think it's probably worth it. So do I want to try and get despair stacks or do I want to get panic? Maybe that's okay. That's good. So he's going to try and run off. He'll take a little bit of damage that'll buy him time to go in. I'm going to move this guy up. Do I let him take flame damage or do I stay out of the way? Because it would be nice to try and get this green rail. I think that is interesting enough to be worth trying to do. Hey, liar. Okay. So I'm going to try and, and I have to remember to be able to, to uh, yeah, raise that guy. Now over here, I do want to take him out, but can I get him low enough? Because they can, they can flank him. So do I want to raise corpse? I may want to, but I could also raise corpse with this, but I don't want him to die. The double raised corpse could be nice, but I think, yeah, I cannot pass up that damage. That's great. Okay, so I think, I think I want to do this. Then do, yes, yeah, there's someone I'm going to prioritize healing. He can't slow anybody down. Where is he likely to be able to attack? So he could move to here and attack them both. And I might have wished, right? Although he would take a fair bit of flanking. I'm not sure. Sure. I just I wonder I wonder I think I want him to be able to charge. Yeah, so I'm not super certain about this, but... It's good. Didn't even think about that. That's fine. That's very favorable. Just cadavers. Just cadavers. 
That'd be good. This guy will be easy enough to take out. So 45%. Can we raise that and still take care of these idiots? That is the hope. Let's get put two hits in here. These guys have their heels, so I couldn't back off. I could kill this, and the rest of the people back off. I could do that. Panicked, he didn't move anywhere, huh? So can I, so this would be despair. What would this do? 15 times 3, unlikely to kill him, but plenty of opportunity. He's, he's panicked too. Hmm. So, so I think I'm comfortable with this. This is a good way to, to proc some despairs. I think I want to do this. Sixty percent, so still not optimal. It would be nice to stop him from moving. But I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back up. Right, he's gonna be a casualty. Am I gonna try and do this here? I think I'm gonna try and roll with the odds. Good chance of being petrified, but do I? No, I mean, so we could kill him outright. So I think I'm gonna do this and just be ready to take some hits. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. Ghoul curse, amazing. Amazing. This is going well. So, keep him out of the fray now. So these guys are going to, are likely to get attacked. This guy is going to be fairly useless. So I think I want to put him back. I think I want to go over here. If he can go here, one, two, three, four, five. So I can go here, but I'd rather keep them with the rest of the people. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe somewhere around here. One, two, one, two, five. So yeah, maybe something. One, two, three. That's probably fine. Maybe him back here, so they're likely to attack this, I don't want the cannon to be able to hit them in line. These two guys could be hit in line, so maybe one more spread out. Do I get up in their face? I probably do, but I think I do this. I think I do this and just have this guy stay back. This guy. Make sure he's facing. Heal. Come back. Make sure he's facing. Heal. Come back. I might want to be healing him. And do I go over here? I might want to go over here. I wonder how the haywire is working out. So I think I do that. I think I do that. And I might want to do this. All right, let's see who they blame out. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And he's barely alive. I actually was foolish because I could have lost him. Um, Okay, so I have to remember to uh, reanimate, but I have to think about a time when I can do that effectively. And he just fired, so I do have a bit of time. So if I can take him out, then he can do whatever the hell he wants. So I think I'm going to go here.
Do I need to, who needs to, that guy needs to be raised. How far is this? One, two, three, three out. So if I'm here, one, two. So I can't. One, two, one, two, three. So I can stand. Yeah, it's barely not, it's barely not enough. Hmm. Be nice to get some cadavers up, but they're not going to be able to help or anything. I have to do that, but I need to get him back. Good to be doing that. So I can I have to make sure I can kill him, which unfortunately that I cannot. So who can put in some hits? Him. Do, and I do have, so I do, do I want him to heal or can I have him be putting in hits? Thinking about the fact that, that if I go here, he won't be able to. Hmm. What kind of 14? So it has a decent chance. It's just if it fails, I will be pissed. And I do need to get his ass up, and I do really want to do that, and I don't want to be flame nuked. So I don't know. I think I need to move back. So if he's here, one, two, three, four. Even farther. So I'm going to try and raise him soon. So hopefully he goes for the easy spots. Let's see what he does. Okay. 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 So before I forget anything, this guy needs to be raised. This guy ideally would be healed. So he could go here, and he could go here. I have wire and cross bitten. Because this guy can go in and take him out, probably. I can get up in his face. I just don't want him to be able to reach anybody else. That should still be fine. Probably. I might be able to raise him, but he'll be able to do that next turn. So I probably move him back and move him back. Move him up. I wouldn't mind him. Okay. 
getting attacked. I think this is good. So I'm just trying to raise him and kill him off. That is okay. I've got plenty of time now, too. So who does he need to raise? He can... Unfortunately, it's going to take some time, but I am closing in. There is a guy up here I can raise. I'm not going to be able to get to him in time. All right, so this is, that's it for that. So is there anybody else that needs to be raised? Nobody within reach. He can do some healing up. No, it's okay. I don't need to do that too. I'm hesitant to do that to the bodies, although I know it can be done. All right, so I guess it's, so it's a matter of who do I want to give this to. So he's good. He's good, he's good. I want to give it to the knight if I can. It's 32, so this is, this could kill and I don't need to do that. Try to still to let one attack. All right. All right. Perfect. Man, some excellent, excellent pickups. That is great stuff. Um, I think I'm going to cap the episode here because we're already over an hour. Uh, and I will see you in episode 24.